whiskey. Uh -huh. Whiskey. Whiskey. Whiskey, Ma. Uh -huh. Whiskey. Hey, great tea and quinine. You got the fever, son. I want a drink! Susie. Susie, please get me a bottle. I'm fever dry. Make it last. That's all there is. Can't go on no more. We gotta get moving, little Vic. Them bounty hunters ain't gonna be resting. No. The only reason I come was because I thought nobody'd think a little Vic dumb enough to cross his his godforsaken prairie with two women. If they're on to me, I'm I'm sticking it out right here. I want you home, son. Quit ragging him, Ma. Can't travel with a fever. Running on the back trails, hiding in the hog pens. Bleeding your life away. When we got married, I bet you never figured it. I'd be worth 2,000. Alive. Alive or dead. Yes, Something you wanted? Well, I ran out of smokes about three days ago, and I don't suppose... You don't have any tobacco. You going far? No, we're just trying to get a little sun. Something's leaking there. Sorghum lick. Jug's cracked. Get out of there. Come on, come on, come on. Get out. All right, mister, you found him. But you ain't gonna take him. You manhunters make the rules. Now you die by him. Lady, I ain't man-tracking. What you got that dog for? The dog couldn't catch cold. I believe him, Ma. Don't matter what you believe. Let me have it. Please. My son, mister. Please don't take it. Lady, I ain't a bounty hunter. I work for a living. A little bit. You'll be all right. 
I knew Lou Vic once. You know him? Well, just kind of. I worked the Buckhorn Roundup with him some years ago, and he's changed some. I know him. You looking for me? No, I'm just passing through. Hey, Vic, remember me? That blasting game? Yeah. Yeah, sure, I remember. Sure, I do. What do you think of my little Susie, Dave? She's a fine-looking girl, Vic. She's too fine for me. <laughs> I tried to take care of her, but it didn't work out. I, I caught a couple of slugs in my appetite. And I ain't quite so salty as I used to be when we was busting Bronx in Montana. <laughs> Honey? Susie? I want you to listen to me. I want you to turn me into the federal marshal at Madero. Huh? Two thousand dollars, that's what it gives you. I want you to take it. Have a good life. All right, that's enough. Little Vic, you've got to rest. He was straight enough before he took up with this Susie thing. Go ahead, blame me for all his pain. Well, time's passed for blame now. What do you want to do? See him buried proper. I'm going to take my boy home. He'll rest easy on his own ground. No, Ma. It's over. Over? It's over. When my boy is lying next to his sisters and his baby brother, wrapped in the quilt he was born in. There are others who want little Vic. And they mean to have him. That Max was part of Rigdon's bunch. They'll find us. And they'll take little Vic. They'll drag him out of his home grave if they must. To collect the $2,000. What are you trying to say? I'm trying to say you can't keep little Vic. They won't let you. He knew it. He wants me to turn him into the marshal at Madeira. He wants us to have the money. That's the last thing he asked. Lies! No! Who heard him ask but you? Please, Ma. You were just waiting with the rest of them for his money. You never cared a lick about him. Well, if Karen means dragging that thing in a barrel over 40 miles just to bury him, then I don't care. I won't. Alive. That's the little bit I cared for and cared about. You're a wanton, godless creature. You don't belong here. But you do. I'm his mother. Well, I fail to see how birthing him gives you very rights. We could bury him right here, man, and hide the grave so they wouldn't find it. You can ride out, or you can ride with. Suit yourself, Mr. Blassen Game. We best get moving, man. Well, I'll come along and wait. I'll come along and watch. Maybe Mr. Rigdon will give the widow of Little Vic more consideration. I don't need reading to know who these belong to. That's one less helping. Look around, Moonsey. Comb out the sign. Max, you red-eyed dog-leg thief, I'm glad you're dead. <laughs> we'll miss him. He was such a losing poker player. Born to lose. 
Yeah, we're going to end up with $2,000 and sweet Susie. It was a raid and a shootout. I figure Max and uh, probably Dick. You bonehead Max. Had to be in a hurry. All he did was scare him, make him run faster. And get himself killed. What about Dick? Well, they got a wheel left. I figure he made it out with them. The sooner we get them, the sooner we collect. Let's get going, Rick. You made it feel pretty bad back there. You're trying to understand how she feels, too. I do try, but, well, everybody thinks that people having names like father, mother, or president, or even preacher, are the right regardless. That they're good always. That they can do no wrong. And if they do, why, it doesn't count. Well, everybody don't feel that way, Susie. Everybody. I'm talking about the good everybody. Why, they believe in those names so strong, why, if you don't believe right along with them, they get mean and angry. And you're the one they start throwing rocks at. I've seen enough rock thrown and finger pointing in my previous line of business. You believe in those names, don't you, Dave? Not all the time. You believe in her? Well, I believe in... I believe in pretty widows, too, but right now I believe in keeping out of the way of bounty hunters. Sure is hot. Why don't you let the horse carry him? Because he's what they're looking for, honey. That reward money makes pretty fair wages, even for a truck down, don't it? Pretty fair. A fellow like you should be wearing nice clothes. Have a girl and money for pleasure. You mean a little Beck's money? You just can't keep your hooks off the man, can you? Bick was satisfied. Ladies, we ought to camp right here. Everybody loves a big old dog loafing around. Well, he's no good loafing. My Dave, the stars are as bright tonight as blue bonnets. You know about Texas blue bonnets, huh? I never want to see another one. Brown, hey, come on, go catch your rap. Go on, Brown. You ever live in a Saudi? Bone in the side. The snakes and spiders crawling out of the walls and rain coming through the roof. Dark, dismal, dank, stinking sodies. Never again. Going back to honky tonk and no regrets. You sure about that, huh? When it comes right down to it, Dave, Sabetha was right. I'm not what folks would call a nice girl. Wouldn't like it if I was. Being no good beats plowing. It's warm and uh, you got company. Poor Beck. Poor little Beck. Here, 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 listen now. Beck wouldn't want you feeling sorry for him. Yourself either. Beck wanted me wearing pretty clothes. Sleeping soft in the city, not tagging after two fools and a dog to his grave. Come on, 
Mootsy. Mootsy, you thin gutted mink livered sidewash, backstabbing buzzard. All right, where is he? Who? I don't know what you listen here, Mr. Slater. Now, wait a minute. I'm going to blow your head now, off if I don't get some answers. I've been asleep. Come on now, where is he? I don't know where Mootsy went. Sure. I wouldn't be here if I knew he was going to do something cute and fancy. Of course you would. Please, Rig. Fine bunch of manhunters I picked. Wrong, man. Every one of them's a bigger thief than the one we're after. Well, he didn't get so far away that I can't catch up with him. All right, bring the rest of my stuff. Yeah. We'll walk around a little. What's it all about? I mean, all of it, Dave. I don't know. It's more what you feel than anything else. What do you feel, Mr. Blassengame? Well, times like this, it's about like when I was eight years old and I was riding my own horse for the first time. And, oh, everything was so good I could just bite right into it. <laughs> That's when you're a child. <laughs> when you're grown up, why? Don't you want to mount to something? Oh, right. Well, I've fought along those lines some, and it appears I'm kind of a stranger to ambition. I know the feeling. But uh, haven't you ever wanted to settle down? Oh, sure. I'd like to. I'd like to raise some good horses sometime. My own place. Where? I don't know. I guess I'll know it when I find it. Well, uh, Maybe I could help you look. We could start in New Orleans. With little Bick's best wishes. Two thousand dollars worth. Little Bick is going in the ground like his mother wants. See how deep you can bury the thick cow. Why don't they leave us alone? He's after more than Brick. What do you mean? I mean, bodies are getting stacked up like cordwood around you today. You got a shovel? Hey, 
to get some sleep? Not tonight. You know them? They know me. Hold it there, friend. What are you doing here, cowboy? Oh, I'm taking a friend of mine home to get buried. He's in the wheelbarrow. Get him in the surrey. It's my son, and you ain't taking him. You can't prop him up in a window for folks to gawk at like a two-headed calf. He doesn't belong to you anymore. He belongs to the law now. You ain't the law. You're a meat hook and jaybirder. All the same. Think we wouldn't catch up, honey? You've always gotten what you wanted, Rigdon. It's you and me, Susie. Till the money runs out. Then we'll find another little bit for sale. Just like a couple of maggots. Tired of dancing? I'm tired of dirt. Saudi dirt and town dirt. And I'm really tired of perfumed killers. Get out of here, Rigdon. You can't have little Bick. Can't I? You heard what she said. I'm sure you won't change your mind. I'm buying a chance on tomorrow. Don't waste your money. Get him out of the wheelbarrow. You leave him alone! like a big man who could tell a big lie. Susie, I'm sorry. I never did want to die out in the middle of nowhere. Out on a big, empty prairie, nothing. Another day. Davy. Davy, don't you know? My blood's hot and burning. My mouth is sweet. Oh, I'm too proud. Too proud to die. In this wicked prairie wind.
Lucky Dave. We just run him right in your loop. Yes. You ought to be out of here and on the trail, Lucky Dave. String a horse flesh like you got, I wouldn't wait. Market's highest for the first is there. Sure is, ain't it? Yes, sir. Old Lucky Dave. You gotta admit you got the luck with you, ain't you? Huh? Huh? Well, I'm shut clean through with it. Let them come to you. That's the old blasted game way. And you run them all day and you find them in the shadows wearing Lucky Dave's rope. That's how it is with old Mazo here. He can't win for losing. Old down on his beam ends Mazo. Well, that's the way she goes some days. How come your outfit never sees them days, Lucky Dave? How come it's my outfit always dipping in a well that's dry? Well, you ain't too dry now, are you? Come back, Digger. Dave. You want to sit in over here? Yeah, yeah this thing's pretty well, huh? Oh, no, you don't. I take you on. I gotta be too drunk to know better. Sit down, Lucky Dave. I'm gonna bust your winning streak right now. You got a dollar? What do you think? You're not that drunk, Mazel. that? Well, it's alive. And pretty. Looks like a kitty got lost it. Maybe if we shut our eyes, it'll go away. Looks like it might holler some. It wears the gun. Talk to it, Dave. Yeah, I believe I will. I know it looks kind of scary, though. No, I was just out riding. I saw your fire and thought I'd... Well, it just... Thought I'd stop by and be neighborly. I heard it was real neighborly out here. Oh, sure, neighborly. Uh, out where? Just out here, west. West of what? Well, just out west. I, I was born in New Hampshire. Where? New Hampshire, that a place? It's a cow, eastern stock. Beef or milk, New Hampshire? Well, I mean, I was born in New Hampshire. I was raised in Ohio. Oh, well, that makes a difference. See. Bring it over here, Dave. I want to poke it. Yeah, come on down. You you got a name, too? It's Calvin Davis. It's Cal to friends. Well, it is human, or practical. How do you, Cal? Hello. Hello. How do you do, Hello. Cal? Hi, Cal. Hello. How do you do? We might have found a pair of 45 you got there. Wear it pretty, too. Well, well, thank you. I got it back home. I figured it'd come in handy when I came out west.
You all through now? Boy, don't ever do that, will you? Now, you just go wearing a rig like that, tied down and cut down, why somebody's liable to think you're looking for trouble. I take it that way. See what I mean? Did you come all the way out here from that there place just to play gun tricks, Sonny? Well, I didn't come all the way out from there just now. I, I meant I just rode out from town. Did you get lost, or did you come out here to buy horses, Sonny? Well, I was half lost when I saw your fire. I, I just rode out to see what it's like. Get a job, maybe. There's lots of trouble and no work around here, so clear out. Green feet like you means bad luck. Quit it, quit it. Last in game, you and your horse hands will be out of here tomorrow and halfway to Southport. Me and my boys will still be spinning rope. So I figure this here camp belongs to me. And I don't want no wet nose. I don't salt. mean to call. You don't mean up. nothing, Sonny, except so long. I'm going to get out. Mister, I just came here to get a job. I said get out. Now get off the prod. The kid ain't bothering you. His thumb's still wet. What's all this to you, Lucky Dave? Well, I'll tell you, what with you being drunk and that kid green and fooling around with that gun, there's just liable to be some wild shooting, and I don't want to get myself nicked, that's all. That's the all of it, huh? No, that ain't the all of it. You're still hot about us grabbing them horses off you this morning, ain't you? So you ain't pushing that kid, you're pushing me. Is that a fact? Yeah, that's a fact, and you know it. Mister? Now you shut up and get on your horse and get on out of here. Go on home. Now, I, I can handle this if I have to. Boy, you can't handle nothing. You're going to get the chance. No, he ain't. Kid seems to think he's good enough. Well, I am. You hear? No, I got wax in my ears. You're going to have dirt in your face. You don't stay clear of me. Look, I am clear of you. He's just a know-nothing kid. Now, quit doing that. You want to try to make me quit? Lucky Dave? Forget it, amigo. He's drunk. Yeah, he's drunk. Hombre! Hurts like the devil. Got the bone. He's through with horses for a long time. I should have left yesterday. See if there's plenty of hot water on the fire. Mister, thank you. Go on home, will you? You head up one of these outfits here, don't you? Well, I'd like to get a job with you. I wouldn't expect much pay, any for that matter. Now, where should I give you a job, boy? You're a long way from home, and you don't know enough to keep your mouth shut and your hands still. Well, I could learn. I read a lot, and I can ride. You could get a man shot by somebody else. You better just stick to your reading. I hear that's a pleasing thing. Don't you know how to read? Well, of course I know how to read. Oh, no, I can't read. Well, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll swap you. What I know for what you do. All I know about being a cowpuncher is what I read. And that, well, I always wanted to know for sure. Being a cowpuncher? It's fair, isn't it? Something for something. We both learn. Well, it looks like about all you learned was limbering up your gun arm, and uh, that ain't all there is to it. No, but it's part of it. Five minutes in camp and a man gunshot. Pretty good openers. Look, it's not my fault what's-his-name got shot. I'm sorry for that. I'd really like to have that job. I'd be very grateful. Don't do it, compadre. Please. You gonna teach me how to read? Now look, uh, I know all the letters already. Most of them, and uh, I can mark some. But I just don't know how to put them together to make words, you know? It's easy enough. You got any books with you? I got a Bible we can use. Well, that's fair enough. Oh, my name's Blasting Game. Dave Blasting Game. Nice to meet you. 
Well, uh, we're going to leave early in the morning, so we'll go take care of your horse, sir. Huh? Yes, sir, Mr. Blessingay. Mistake, amigo, mistake. That boy's gun happy. No fue culpa de Jamaco. It's a question of time. You're sure? I am. Huele a muerta. What was that? I said you had the smell of death on you. Get to work now. <laughs> All right, try it again. Next number? Yeah, just from the same place. And God save. They're silent. It's pronounced light. Light. And two dots. And there was light. Go on. Number four. And God was. Saw. W A S was. S A W. Saw. God saw. Saw the light. That it was God. Good. Good. And two dots. And God. Ooh, that's a long one. Divided. Divided the light. <laughs> From the D A R K N. Darkness. Dark. Ness. Darkness. Number five. Look, best you take that gun off, Tomoko. You gonna take it off me, old man? Somebody will shoot your eyes out. Nobody's gonna shoot me. Ha! Too slow. Much, much too slow. I told you to keep your hands off of that thing. Hey! Now, either quit that nonsense or get miles away from me, you hear? I'm just practicing in case I have to use it. Well, you don't touch it, you won't have to use it. Look, sooner or later, I'm gonna have to defend myself. Now, I could have killed that Mazo if you hadn't stepped in. Kid, it was me he was prodding, not you. Yeah. Well, suppose it had been him instead of me, you would have stepped in. Him? Oh, no. I don't believe you. You don't need no help. That old man? Yeah, that old man. Well, you still didn't do such a good job. He just busted Mazo's shoulder. Well, you'd have killed him, huh? No. No, I think I would have just snapped him in the leg a little. Oh, you just snapped him in the leg a little. Well, I've seen men lose a leg that got snapped out a little. Look. You know what this is? That's a 45 caliber, 240 grain hunk of lead that can splatter your brains out like a jumped on squash. You ever seen a bullet hole? Mazo? I mean, up close. Oh, it goes in, little enough. But then it tears you up inside, and when it comes out, that's if you're lucky and it comes out, it leaves a hole about like that. 
Now, a gun ain't something to play with. It's to kill people with, and you don't reach for it unless you're going to shoot, and you don't shoot unless you're going to kill. You understand? All right, all right. All right, you just wait a minute. I'll show you some worry. See? Quantos, uh, how many men you killed, huh? Enough. You ever been shot? You know that, amigo. Genulo. Come on, come on, show him. And, uh... In. Out. This put me down for eight months. For a while, nobody think I'd get up. Now I am up. I don't want to shoot nobody. I don't want nobody to shoot me. Now, you go pointing that gun at him or me or anybody else again, I'm going to tear you in half. some more after we eat? Oh, maybe. How long have you known him? The boy? Oh, a long time. How do you say his name? What is Quote? What is Quote? Manuel Pilar Rio de Solera. Seems funny. You being friends with a pepper gut. Just forget you and all them kind of words. If you don't, he's liable to cut them out of you. Nobody touches me, cowpuncher. Now, what'd I tell you? Hey, Digger. Hello, Blaston. What are you doing in town? I didn't figure you'd beat me in. Mazel died a couple hours after you left. I brought his body in for burying. His wife's in there. Uh, I figure on that. Couldn't seem to stop the bleeding. No one blames you. Yeah. That's right, amigo. Come on, let's go sell the horses. Then we do some drinking. Now. I'm 
Yeah, they're gonna drift on up the pass, though. Maybe I see you there, huh? Sure thing. I said, where are you going? Why? Figured I might tag along. Go on home, muchacho. Why? Because you say so? Look, I give you good advice. You die young around here, little one. You got bad ideas, bad habits. They kill you. No one's gonna kill me. Why don't you do like he says, just go on home? Why? I want to hear it from you. Not some lousy pepper gut. He's a friend of mine. Pepper gut. Adios, amigo. So long. Go on, Ed. You are very young. I will take an apology. If you will step outside, then I will join you in a moment. You stand a bit up the street. You'll never get your gun out, old man. Maybe. I'd rather you come out that door than me. Sure. Yeah. Would you like to try him for me? I don't know what if I wanted to. Would you let me? No, amigo. What a waste.
through yet, huh? No! We are now. Draw your time! All six dongles of it! All right, all right. Well, you handled yourself all right. Yeah. You won the fight. Lost a job. You want to make $100? Now, what kind of question is that? You know the De Castellanos Fred? No. Yeah, it's about 40 miles north here, eh? Yeah. You ever seen the Senorita de Castellano? No, I never seen the Senorita de Castellano. Why? There's a picture of hers floating around. What? A uh, big picture painted by some Frenchman. The lady wants it back. Bad. She wants a Frenchman maybe a little dead. Uh, you got the wrong man. I ain't one of these hired guns or nothing like that. The picture's worth $100 to me. Uh, what about this here Frenchman? Uh, they don't have to worry about him. There's plenty jumping his trail. You just get that picture back. Well, uh, uh, how would I know it if I seen it? Well, you see, the lady and the Frenchman, they got kind of friendly, and he painted her, uh, you know. You mean like uh, one of them statues? Come in, come in, come in, sir. Gentlemen, I'd like you to meet uh, David Blassen's game. He's a banker, a friend from San Antonio, and his great dog, Brown. Banking. I uh, need a little help, Dave. Uh, a bit of financial assistance is called for here. Oh, what's up, Mr. Schmidt? Oh, yes, yes. Uh -huh. Well, I just don't happen to have my checkbook with me right now, Mr. Smith. Uh, well, do you have a uh, little traveling money, oh, some uh, change? Uh, let's see, you got uh, $4 and uh, six bits. Throw it in. Right here in the right little there. That's fine, man. That's poker you're playing, that's right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'll call. Looks like three trays, and a queen. And a king, Mr. Smith. Busted flush. Take your money, Digger. You outplayed the fair and square. Buying them. Busted today. Plowed under. Well, Smith, sometimes well runs dry. Hey, Dave, how'd you like to make a hundred dollars? hundred dollars? Uh -huh. That's a song I've been hearing a lot of lately. Well, there's a painting, I think. Painting? Painting, painting. That walker got you looking for it, too? Looking? Dave, I possess it. You do? Sure. Well, you're gonna make the hundred, then, not me. I don't plan on selling it back. I plan... Well, Dave, I need help for what I plan. Oh, no, wait a minute. Come on. Where? Come on, I'll show you. Come on, Brown. Uh, Mr. 
Blasingham, will you favor me, please? Nothing compared to the original. Mais non. Uh -huh. Mais non. Oh, they said it's how a Frenchman painted that. You... But of course. Count François de Bergerac. At your service, monsieur. Well, I'll be... All right, listen, Burgundy. François. France, huh? François. All right, listen, Francois, don't you know that little lady's kind of peeved at you? She's got a mess of hard cases out looking for you right now to scramble your gizzard. Such is the peril of art. Well, I'm going to trump you, Smith. Oh, Dave, there's a saloon owner in Friday who'll pay me $200 for this painting delivered. Not mm -hmm. half of it's yours. $100. We'll go full partners. I heard I can get 100 from the owner. Well, she isn't the owner. Why? No, an artist's work is his own, signed or unsigned, see? No, oh, no, no, the man said $400. Yeah, $400, I just now recall. $200 for you, Dave. 200 Uh-huh. I hate seeing you, Stoney. That's a woman. He's a woman, all right, and that's just it. Her pleasant poetry turned shrill. She cried for marriage. Well, what's the matter with that? Oh, no. Ah, for the small span of an evening, maybe two. Even a week, a woman's uh, cool hand, she's delicious, breath of life. Woman nameless is a respite from the hard travail of life. A woman new, slow-eyed, silent, temporary. My raison d'etre is my grail. It's the sweetest vessel. It's everything. But, Dame, a woman permanent, as a helpmate, as a lifelong companion? Oh, no, Dave. A woman as a wife? Downright catastrophe. No, I had too much of a good thing. Ah, me. Well. Small portions, Dave. Small and temporary. Is that the picture? It sure is. You just made yourself a hundred dollars, blessing game. Oh, it's not to Mr. Walker. I'm glad to oblige. Two hundred and fifty if you help me. Three hundred. Three hundred. Would you uh, gentlemen care to see this rare object about yourselves? There you are, Mr. Walker. <laughs> 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 I knew I could count on you, Dave, boy. I'm counting on you for $300, Smith. Is it blessing to him? Come on, man!
Well, you've done it again, Smith. You've fixed a blasting game wagon. We go out together, Dave. That's a comfort. Sure. Hey, you down there, you want a parlay? Yes. Yes, sir, that's just what we want to do. You come on in. Yes, sir. You traitor. They can perforate your hide, Smith, not mine. I'm just here for the ride and $300, that's all. Blasting game, you're a coward. Yep. You ain't got the guts of a lop-eared field mouse. No, I ain't. You best just make your peace, Smith. Make it now. Carla de Castigliano. How you do? I'm Dave Blasingame, ma'am. Please. Allow me. I am looking for one Count Francois de Bergerac. Yes, have you uh, been doing some high hard looking, then? I will kill him, then find my painting. Have you seen it? Yes, ma'am. I got it right there in the wagon. Uh, your your uh, foreman told me something about is how you'd pay hundred dollars. Yes, but this is not the road to my ranch. Oh, well, see, I got lost. This is the road to fry it, and I have heard a man in fry it will pay $1,000 for my picture. $1,000? Lady, I swear to you that I didn't know nothing about any $1,000. That's the truth. Your dog? Yeah, yeah, it's my dog. The painting is in the wagon? Mm-hmm. You will ride to my ranch, and I will give you your hundred dollars. It's all right, compadres. I have what I want. Go on home. Why do you stare? Oh, I was, I was just admiring you. But, um... Uh, but what? Oh, I mean, ha haven't you lost a little weight? No, I haven't. Well, I meant that you look kind of different. Uh, you saw the painting. Yes, ma'am. I sure did, and it was beautiful. Oh, Lordy, it was beautiful. Well, all I can say is it sure didn't do you justice. But draw no conclusions, Mr. Blessingay. Oh, no, ma'am. No, ma'am. Uh, I was just, I just wondering if, uh, say, could you use an extra hand around your place now? It's possible. Do you have any special skill? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am, I'm a horse breaker. Studs, mares, colts. Well, we can talk about it later. Whose horse is that? Oh, that one, that, uh, that, that one belongs to the man I got the painting from. That weasel, that lying thief, he sold it to you. No, no, ma'am. Well, you can just quit looking for him now because, uh, well, you see, he's dead. I had to kill him to get the painting. Kill him? Yes. Oh, no. No. Oh, no. now, here, here, no. don't... Don't carry on like that. Oh, now, don't cry. He ain't worth crying over. Not that old Burgundy. Why, he's purely no count, ma'am. Oh, he was wonderful. He was. You had no right. Ma'am. Well, but jest, chérie. I am alive and well. But not for long, Francois. Shoot him. Missing you is like missing life itself. Shoot. Go on, do it. Do it. I missed you, my darling. He called you Burgundy. Me? Burgundy? Oh, no. Oh. We Burgundians are a proud lot. Roger. Who is he? 
He is a poor working cowherd. Cow what? Alone and adrift on the endless prairie sea. Nothing. The fault is mine, Carla. All mine. He tricked me. He said we were to be married. But I could not oh. marry you, my darling. I am not good enough by far for such as you. That's true. You stole my picture! So I could have you with me if ever we were apart. You meant so much to me that I could not even say goodbye. I left here with a breaking heart, desolate. But I kept saying to myself, it is a far, far better thing that I do now than I have ever done before. That's why you are lying. You are everything to me, and I am nothing. I am dirt at your feet. Oh, no. No, I am a scoundrel, a rogue beyond hope, beyond redemption. I knew that I could only bring sorrow into your life. No. Mm. <coughs> oh, I missed you, Carla. Oh, I missed you. And there were moments. It was beautiful. Rapturous. If it could only be like that again. It can. Could it? Believe me. Dave. If I thought that a, a good woman, beautiful and true, could steer me away from temptation and keep me on the straight and narrow, I'd... You're drunk. No, mon dieu. It is hopeless. I am a craven coward. It would take the powers of a saint, and no woman would be foolish enough to try. I would try. No, 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 no. Burgundy, Burgundy, no, no, Burgundy. No. What, what? Would you marry me? Oh, yes. Yes. That's them, senorita. They got the picture. I know. I cut them down their tracks. No. When? This instant. Oh, we will be married by dawn. Come, we must wake everybody. There is much to do. Till the sunrise, my love. Thank you, amigo, for bringing back my love. It's all right. Smith, I hate to do this, but I gotta hand it to you. That was the most deep dyed in the wool, fancy gated, copper collar job of fast talking I ever heard in all my born days. You had me wishing I was you. Matter of fact, you even had me believing it. You can believe it, Dave boy. Believe it. Ain't she a darb, though? Oh, yeah. She's all you said and even more. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> yeah well, you ain't really gonna marry her, are you? Yes, I will, Dave. Yes, I will. Oh, Burgundy. That is the most woman since Eve bit the apple. I love her. Well, sure, fine, but marriage, that's... That's for always. Yep, through the years. Smith, a woman is for an evening, maybe two. Eternity. Oh, come on, Smith. A woman temporary, that's a cry, ain't it? It is. Well, sure, that's what you told me. Yeah, I did, didn't I? Sure, Smith, think of it. Marriage, marriage, that's something that's permanent. It means a velvet noose around your neck. It means a wife. A wife? That'll flatten you. Well, I, I just wasn't thinking. A catastrophe. A catastrophe. Well, thank you, Blazing Game. I, I just got carried away. She must have pushed me out of my head. Uh, well, remember, small doses, like you yeah. said. Yeah. Oh. Right, Dave boy. Right. I could have lost a fortune. $1,000. You're a businessman as well as an artist, Mr. Smith. Now I'd like to have another look at this. Uh, 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 yeah, uh, goodbye. Goodbye, Mr. Cobb. I have pressing business elsewhere. Thank you very much. Thank you.
Well, Dave. Ah. <laughs> well, 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 well. Oh, now, Dave, you don't for a moment suspect that I'd cheat you. No. Well, of course not. Here's your 300. And a one, and a two, three. He just paid you 1,000. Yes, but our agreement was only for 300, Dave, remember? Burgundy, you said. Hey, listen, you renegades. Cut out that fighting. I gave up warning you, I am. Gentlemen, the opening is not until five o'clock, and it is not five o'clock yet. Just a minute, Smith. I make that picture and the condition is in worth three hundred dollars. painted over my painting, Francois. Oh, no, no, not I, ma chérie, no. That, that would be Monsieur yeah. Blassingame. He goes there. He is a man of much courage. I think perhaps I could be a woman with him. Mr. Smith, 